we all know in emergency medicine that prolonged cardiac arrest, there's a chance you get a heartbeat back, but usually, neurologically, the patient is devastated. Mm -hmm. When he was in a coma, was there a point where you just gave up hope? No, no. And I remember saying to Donnie, we will take him anyway. We'll take him any way we can, even if he is the vegetable. We'll go visit him every day in a nursing home if we have to. Um, no, I never gave up hope. Ashley and Sarah, as his sisters, was there a moment where you thought, you know what? There's a chance here. He may get his brain function back. We may have some hope to see our brother. Every day was a wild card driving to the hospital. We didn't know if he was going to, if it was going to be a bad day, a good day. We just didn't know. And we kept holding on to the hope of the EEG that came out okay. The neurological exam did not come out okay. So we kind of had one good thing and one bad thing. And we just kept holding on to the positive things. And that's what would get us through it. And for those watching, EEG is much like an EKG for your brain, shows electrical and brain activity. So there was, there was hope there. And this story is so much about perseverance. It's about family, love, perseverance Absolutely. of the individual, of the doctors. It's really, though, about miracles because miraculously, Justin is here with us today. Everyone, please welcome Justin. Miracles do happen, folks. Yes. How's it feel to be a miracle? Um, it's it's really amazing. I mean, 11 months ago I was dead, and uh, now I'm here today, and it's yeah. unbelievable. Never thought it would happen. And I have to confess to you, obviously I knew that you were going to be here today, but I, I didn't want to meet you until that moment because even I was still a little skeptical. You know, how is Justin going to be? How is he going to look? How is he going to walk? Because we're going to get into some of the injuries you sustained. But I would never have known, if your family didn't share their st your story with me, I would have never known that you were basically dead less than a year ago. Yeah. That night, freezing cold. Um, I was out at a uh, fire hall that night. And I, uh, it's, it's usually the same route. It's two miles away from my house. And I, uh, I usually always go that route. I mean, uh, 10 years ago, my friend died on the same road on the tree. But I mean, I usually, I would stop by and, you know, pay my respects and uh, I just didn't make it that night, you know? And then of course, I'm sure you don't have any recollections no, after that. No, I mean, I didn't even make it to it. I, uh, I just, I got out of the, uh, the fire hall and the last thing I remember, I'm waking up with my family and everyone and that was the last thing I well, remember. Well, and, there. you know, to step aside from your story really quickly, as an ER doctor, this is why when it's snowing and icy out, you gotta be so careful, make sure people know where you are, because a little slip and fall, you hit your head, yeah. and next thing you know, Absolutely. Um, you can freeze to death. And that, so that's not something unusual for you. you. That was a path, despite the fact that it was, what was it, negative four? Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's, I probably shouldn't have walked that night, but I've, I've walked that <laughs> night numerous times. So after everything you've been through and everything that's happened, if you learned anything or what, what would you share with everyone having been through everything that you went through? When you're surrounded by great people, great things can happen and it's just, it's just amazing I'm here today and I, I really can't thank everyone enough. And there's another layer to this story and to share that, I'd like to introduce the ER physician who fought to save Justin's life. Please welcome Dr. Gerald Coleman to the show. Dr. Coleman, it is an honor and a privilege to be your colleague as an emergency medicine doctor. You. 